The trainees who are architects, surveyors and engineers under the employment of the state government are being trained in horticulture and landscaping using the experience of members of the professional body. National President, Nigeria Institute of Landscape Horticulturists, Comrade Emmanuel Bankole identified poor proposal as a challenge in executing horticultural and landscaping projects. On his part, Professor Sylvester Wansiha of the Department of Crop Science, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Benin, spoke on methods of ornamental plant cultivation while the second national vice president of the association, Dr. Benedicta Adewoyin's lecture, dwells on the importance of ornamental plant and their herbal uses. We are going to have wonderful impact on the environment, on the youth, and uh, even uh, this problem of uh, youth unemployment is going to go a long way and invariably the issue of uh, vices in the society. So the Edo State Government, the Edo people, they are going to reap a lot from the outcome of this uh, workshop. Edo State Chairman of the Institute, Paul Osula, said the program is to expose their services and areas of collaboration to the trainees. We are coming in with our ways of experience as horticulturists and we are ready to give out our experience to the young ones who are coming in. The high point of the one-day lecture was a courtesy visit on the national patron of the Institute and the SMR of Benin, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osari Bunedion, where the national leadership of the Institute intimated him on plans to confer on him the Honorary National Fellowship of the Institution in April this year. The SMA, while appreciating the visit, emphasized the importance of the profession. It was not at a place that the Honorary Fellowship was given. You earn it. You deserve it. And we said we are coming to Benin, April by the grace of God, where you are going to properly robe in a Honorary Fellowship. There is nothing you will request that which will demand the power I cannot grant for you. Kingsley Uchebu, ITV News.